This is my Make Code Arcade Game of the Week. And this is actually a, more of an in-progress demo. Um, and it is just a, the, the forum post. Let me zoom this up for you. Forum post was Moving Platform by 3ISSA. Threesa? I'm going to call you Threesa. Uh, and Threesa is making a platformer game. Uh, has done some beautiful graphics, which I'm really impressed with. Custom uh, sprites, custom color palette. Um, but the uh, question that Threesa has is about moving platforms. So in a lot of games, there are platforms that move that characters can jump on. Uh, how do you create those? And, and a very specific thing I'm going to show here that I thought was really uh, clever. Now, Threesa has some questions about improving this and refining it, but has already made some really impressive progress with it. Um, and I wanted to show you this little facet of it. So if you take a look at my um, simulator here in Make Code Arcade, there's this cute little knight character, and I can jump. I get this great little secondary animation on the feather on the knight's helmet. I'm getting a very sort of shovel knight kind of vibe on this. I love it. And what I thought was really cool is this. I can jump from underneath a platform and then land on the platform. Now, this is trickier than you might think at first. We're used to that sort of behavior in games, but how does that work? Well, we need to be able to go through a thing, but then not go back down through the thing. And so I thought this was a really great um, solution to that problem. If we look here inside of Make Code Arcade, there's a function uh, for placing platforms. And there, we'll just take this, uh, this one example of one platform. Uh, I'm gonna zoom up in here, in fact. So the way the logic for this works is there is this uh, if-else block that whenever a tile is below the hero of this type, uh, so in this case it's actually, I believe, this one. Uh, so the tile that looks like that, uh, we run through, and if the tile is below the hero, we turn the wall parameter on. If not, if it's to the right, left, uh, or more importantly, above the character, then the wall parameter is set to off. So that allows us to pass through it and then stop and not come back through it. Uh, and this is actually one of the nice um, features of the new release version of Arcade is that now we can see the little graphics as pickable tiles. So the attributes that we associate with a tile aren't based on an index color anymore. It's based on the actual tile. Uh, and so that is how it's possible to create a both moving platforms, as we see here, that we can uh, jump underneath, as well as, oh, I'm getting stuck. That was part of the question. Uh, how to not get stuck on those. As well as how to jump up from below a platform, go through it, and then land, oh, maybe, on top of it. Oh, I'm not very good at this. And I'm determined I'm going to get through this. Oh, maybe I can't jump. There we go. Uh, so really cute uh, game, beautiful really, and uh, uh, an excellent solution for this problem of going through a tile and landing back on it. So uh, check that out. I'll put out a little separate video for this later. And that is my Make Code Arcade game pick of the week. And it is from the, Make, uh, the Microsoft Make Code forums. And it is Moving Platform.